Assalamualaikum and good day student. We will be we will continue our tutorial for uh, still in chapter 1 but we will focus on the uh, curvilinear uh, motion. Hmm? We will see the question. So if we if you look into the question, so actually this is the current balloon position where it has been released from the A position. So this is uh, x axis, this is y axis, and then the curvilinear path have been given as y equal to x squared over the t. Also given over here, at the direction of, uh, at the position of the balloon, this constant is given as an equation of uh, 690 uh, meter. For the horizontal, horizontal position of the balloon. So the question is asking you, the first question is asking you to determine the distance of the balloon from station A at the current position. So what actually you need to, uh, the question is asking for this direction, which is R, the direction from A to, to B. Okay, uh, to answer this, uh, you know that, okay, let's say this is, uh, this is a BY, I put it BY, this one I put it BX, uh, position B at Y exists, position B at X exists, so you know that uh, X is equal to BX equal to 18 meter given already and then y equal to by equal to uh, how much uh, x squared over 30 just plug in the 18 squared 30 so you will get the answer of 10.8 uh, 10.8 meter okay. so the direction uh, the position, the position from uh, measuring from A, this one, is a trigonometry, right? So this is 10.8, this is 18, so what you will have is, uh, this is so-called R, so R is equal to square root of uh, B X squared plus by squared where well, this is 10 point oh sorry this is uh, 18 squared plus 10 point 8 so okay point squared so equal to 21 meter so this is the distance of uh, b measuring from from a Okay, the next question is asking you to get the magnitude. The magnitude and direction of velocity. Of velocity at t equal to 2 seconds. Uh, at the instance of uh, b position, we need to get the velocity of vb at x as is. And then we also need to find the velocity of b at y as is then only we can get the magnitude the velocity resultant at point b at uh, t equal to two second so what you need to do is first find vx which is equal to vdx uh, you know that v velocity is equal to dx over dt and then this uh, x you know just now the equation is 9 t so this is dt if you, uh, you just get it v vx is equal to 9 meter meter per second so all the way the velocity at the x axis is constant at 9 meter per second so now we need to find the velocity at uh, 
vy at y as this, which is v dy is equal to x, uh, sorry, uh, d, sorry, d, uh, dy, dy over dt. So you know that uh, dy over dt, we just plug in the equation of y, which is uh, over 30. And then replace uh, x. Actually, is uh, x is how much just now? X squared. So ninety, ninety over thirty. So what you have here is uh, d dt uh, eighty one t squared over 30 so v dy is actually uh, how much uh, 162 162 162 30t this is equal to 5.4t when t is equal to 2 seconds, so v, vy is actually 10.8 meter per second. Okay, so you have the uh, okay. You have the VBX velocity at x axis, and you have the velocity at uh, y axis. So, what is the resultant velocity? V resultant is actually VBX squared plus VBY squared, which is equal to 9 squared plus 10.8 squared. So you get the answer 14.0 meter per second. So this is resultant velocity of B. The uh, this is the one lah. resultant velocity of B. So what you need to do next is to get this direction trigonometry. Okay, the direction, you know that uh, V, V, X just now is uh, 9. So, V, B, Y is 10.8. This is uh, meter per second. Meter per second. So, this is V, B, Y. So, this is supposed to be V, V resultant. So, what you should have here is... Uh, Tangent theta should be uh, 10.8. So you get the theta is equal to 50.2 degree. Measuring anti clockwise from positive x as this from here. From positive x axis, anti clockwise. So this is 50.2 degree. The next question is asking you to get the magnitude and direction of the acceleration at uh, of a balloon at position B. Uh, still the same approach. You know that AX is actually A bx and then uh, d dt of uh, vx is actually d uh, dt so just now is uh, vbx velocity of b at x is equal to 9 9 meter per second and then uh, you will get equal to 0 
So there is no acceleration happen at the uh, x axis. What about the acceleration at y axis, which is equal to a b y uh, d v b y d t and at d d t just now v v y is five point four uh, t right so this is uh, equal to five point four meter per second square okay so you know that uh, there is only Uh, this is my okay. There is only acceleration at y axis. Uh, which is uh, 5.4. So the magnitude will be so there is no acceleration on the uh, x axis, but there is an acceleration on the x uh, on the y axis 5.4. So the A uh, point B resulted is equal to 5.4 meter per second. Direction? Direction is to the uh, positive x axis. So this is the direction. This is 90 degree measuring from uh, x axis. So if you see at this point, the balloon, the acceleration of the balloon at point B, there is no, there is no acceleration over here, zero. There is no acceleration, but the acceleration is only occurred at uh, y direction with a value of uh, a b resultant five point four meter per second square okay okay then thank you very much